Hello everybody, welcome back to Undertale. I literally could not wait to get back to playing this game. I did take a quick break from it by with another Turbo Dismount episode, but now I'm going to jump right back into it. So last time, on uh, the last episode of uh, my fan blowing into the microphone, uh, we had just arrived at Snowden after getting through all the dastardly puzzles that uh, one Papyrus had laid... Uh, set out for us. By the way, that tunnel will take you all the way across. This is Papyrus's house and the lie bar B, as you see the B between the R and the Y. Welcome to the library. Yes, we know the sign is misspelled. Um, I mean, there is some stuff to look at here. Everyone is always laughing and cracking jokes, trying to forget our modern crises. Dreariness, crowding, lack of sunlight. I would join them, but I'm just not very funny. Well, that's an interesting way to look at things. We all know the underground has problems, but we smile anyways. Why? We can't do anything, so why be morose about it? He's using some big words there. Slow down. Oh, it's Greater Dog. Hi, puppy. What was that? Hi, doggo. Thinking of getting a spike collar to show off my personality. Make a statement like, attach a leash to me and take me for a walk, please. That is what a dog would say. You better watch where you sit down in here, kid, because that big guy will jump into your lap and give you lots of love and attention. Sounds good to me. We're sentries, but we never get any respect. I wish those skeletons would throw us a bone. Ah, ah. Clever pun. I enjoy that. We love bones. Of course you do. Hmm. Isn't human food different than monster food? Maybe. It does things like spoil. When you eat it, it passes all the way through your whole body. Disgusting. I'd love to try it sometime. <laughs> no matter where I go, it's the same menu, same people. Help! I want new drinks and uh, hot guys! Uh, uh, can't help you there, sorry. I don't have the looks. The capital's getting pretty crowded, so I've heard they're going to start moving here. Uh, hmm. I don't want to see the erasure of our local culture. But I definitely want to see some city slickers slip in onto their butts. I guess we've all said that at one point in time. Dot 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 dot. Grillby said that he'd offer you a glass of water, but he doesn't touch the stuff. Is that because he's on fire? Hi, Grillby. Grillby said he'd offer you a glass of water, but he doesn't touch the. Oh, wait. Do I not talk to her? Oh, okay. Apparently I didn't. Those dogs are part of the Royal Guard, the elite military group led by Undyne. She's rude, loud, and beats up everybody who gets in her way. It's no wonder all the kids want to be like her when they grow up. Well, yeah, that's true. I put out a line for some girls today. Someone told me that there are plenty of fish in the sea. Well, I'm taking that seriously. I'm literally going to make out with a fish. So you're the one who set up that fishing rod. You're disgusting. Hi, puppy! It's playing poker against itself. It appears to be losing. <laughs> okay, so... What does this jukebox do? Jukebox is broken. Aw. Well, that's all for grill bees. This town doesn't have a mayor, but if there's ever a problem, a skeleton will tell a fish lady about it. That's politics! I'd be inclined to agree with you, but I think our politics work differently than yours. Yo! You're a kid too, right? I can tell because you're wearing a striped shirt! No. Oh. I guess that's how it works. And yes, I did do a different voice for him. Put two and two together, folks. Awful teens tormented by a local monster. Oh, tormented a local monster by decorating its tree-like horns. So we started giving that monster presents to make it feel better. Now it's a tradition to put presents underneath a decorated tree. Whatever works. That lady over there. Something about her disturbs me. Well, let's go talk to her. Isn't my little cinnamon just the cutest? Bum buns are so adorable. Tee hee. Okay, yeah, she is disturbing. 
Okay. It's more or less enough for now. Maybe if I go to the right, I'll see something I never have before, even though I played this game before. I can't see. <clears throat> Human, allow me to tell you about some complex feelings. Feelings like the joy of finding another pasta lover, the admiration for another's puzzle-solving skills, the desire to have a cool, smart person think you are cool. These feelings, they must be what you are feeling right now. <laughs> I can hardly imagine what it must be to feel like that. After all, I am very great. I don't ever wonder what having lots of friends is like. I pity you, lonely human. Worry not, you shall be lonely no longer. I, the great Papyrus, will be your... No. No. This is all wrong. I can't be your friend. You are a human. I must capture you. Then I can fulfill my lifelong dream. Powerful. Popular. Prestigious. That's Papyrus. The newest member of the Royal God. So as San said, we are now fighting his brother, and we have to be careful for blue attacks. But first, I'm gonna flirt with him. What? F flirting? <laughs> so you finally reveal your ultimate feelings. Well, I'm a skeleton with a very high standards. I can make spaghetti. <laughs> oh no, you're meeting all of my standards. <laughs> I guess this means I have to go on a date with you. Let's date la later, after I capture you. Haha, uh -huh, you can't touch me. Papyrus is thinking of about what to wear for his date. I would be too. So, you won't fight, then let's see if you can handle my fabled blue attack. Yeah, just again, don't move and you'll be fine. Oops. Y'all blue now. But a beat of a bye. That's my attack. <laughs> Pyrus is too busy fighting to accept your insult. I don't deserve such hospitality from you. So when you're blue, you can still jump but you do float back to the bottom versus when you're normal and you can just move around and you don't you don't have that gravity effect that pulls you back down to the ground. Papyrus dabs some bone cologne behind his ear. It smells like bones. Papyrus is too busy fighting to flirt back. What? I'm not thinking about that date thing. This soundtrack's really good, but we haven't heard like some of the best songs yet. Pyrus dabs man marinara sauce behind us here. How's that working for you? Yeah, don't make me use my special attack. Yeah, so close. I think you're supposed to jump over two of the small bones instead of just one. That was probably the problem. Papyrus, da uh, Papyrus dabs MTT brand Bishy Cream behind his ear. Okay. I can almost taste my future popularity. I knew you were coming. I'm too good for you. Papyrus dabs MTT brand anime powder behind his ear. So what, does it turn you into a fat loser? Papyrus 
head of the royal god. Oh, ooh. Come back. Papyrus dabs NTT brand cute juice behind his ear. I'm down with it. Papyrus! Un unparalleled spaghettor! I didn't even know that was a word. Ouch. Oh, wait, it's not over. My bad. You ate the monster candy. 10 HP. Undyne will be really proud of me. Oh, well, that was horrible. Papyrus dabs MTT brand beauty yogurt behind his ear. Ah, beauty yogurt. Interesting. Actually sounds like a good invention. The king will trim a hedge in the shape of my smile. I want to see that, actually. Whoop! 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 Oh, okay, good. I thought I was just going to get hit there. <laughs> this is what this is all building up to. Papyrus realizes he doesn't have ears. My brother, well, he won't change very much. Boop, 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 boop. Papyrus is considering his options. I'll have lots of admirers, but... Papyrus is rattling his bones. Will anyone like me? As sincerely as you. Whoop. 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 Yep. Whoop. Nice. Papyrus is rattling. Oh, same thing. Someone like you is really rare. Whoosh. Whoosh. Papyrus remembered a bad joke Sans told and is frowning. <laughs> That's what a lot of people do. Indicting might be kind of hard. Papyrus is right. Uh, after you're captured and sent away. Oh no. Eh. Ah, dicks. Papyrus is trying hard to play it cool. Ah! Who cares? Give up! Ah, Dex! Dah! If I lose, that's gonna be horrible. Give up or face my special attack! Papyrus is trying hard to play. Okay. Yeah, very soon I'll use my special attack. <sighs> Come on. Papyrus is preparing a bone attack. No way. Not too long, and I will use that special attack. Oops. Okay. Excuse me. Ah. This is your last chance before my special attack. Ah, I asked for that one. <laughs> you reapplied the bandage. Still kind of gooey. I would think so. Behold, my special attack. <laughs> what the heck? That's my special attack! Hey! You stupid dog! Do you hear me? Stop munching on that bone! Hey! What are you doing? Come back here with my special attack! Oh well. I'll just use a really cool regular attack. I guess. I don't know. I don't care. Pyrus is getting ready for a regular attack. Ah, here's an absolutely normal attack. 
this ends up like being his hardest attack, so it's pretty much his special. Ah, I saw that coming. Uh, oh god, you dicks. Cool dude, and <laughs> then just a bone riding a skateboard with, with sunglasses. And if you hold up at this part, you can actually avoid the, the big bone. What happened to my heart? It literally fell out of the box? How is that possible? I think I just glitched the game. Really? I mean, it doesn't kill me, but my heart is gone. That never happened. That's awesome. Well, huff, it's clear you can't huff, defeat me. But yeah, I can see you shaking in your boots. Therefore, I, the great Papyrus, elect to grant you pity. I will spare you, human. Now is your chance to accept my mercy. Nah, just kidding. I couldn't kill you if I wanted to, Papyrus. Yet. Nyo. Hoo hoo. Again, that's a Skeletor thing. <laughs> Skeletor, that, that has to be done in a Skeletor voice, but fuck it. I can't even stop someone as weak as you. Undyne's gonna be disappointed in me. I'll never join the Royal God, and my friend quantity will remain stagnant. What should you say? What a, you're such a loser, Papyrus. <laughs> huh? Why would you... Berate yourself so loudly. <laughs> He's so conceited he thinks I'm talking about myself. Is it because you don't think you're good enough to be my friend? No, you're great. I'll be your friend. Wow. Wow, we. We haven't even had our first date, and I've already managed to hit the friend zone. Something a little bit different there, Papyrus. Who knew that all I needed to make. All I needed to make pals was to give people awful puzzles and then fight them. You taught me a lot, human. I hereby grant you permission to pass through. I'll give you directions to the surface. Continue forward until you reach the end of the cavern. Then, when you reach the capital, cross the barrier. That's where the magical seal trapping us all around. Anything can enter through it, but nothing can exit, except someone with a powerful soul, like you. That's why the king wants to acquire a human. He wants to open the barrier with soul power. Then us monsters can return to the surface. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. To reach the exit, you will have to pass through the king's castle. The king of all monsters. He is, well, he's a big fuzzy pushover. Everybody loves that guy. I'm certain if you just say, excuse me, Mr. Dreamer, can I please go home? He'll guide you right to the barrier himself. Anyway, that's enough talking. I'll be at home being a cool friend. <laughs> Feel free to come by. Have that date. Yeah. <laughs> That's a yeah. It's definitely way easier if you try to do it in a skeletal voice. But again, it's unoriginal because somebody else already did it. I guess, even though it's unoriginal. I guess by that logic, it's unoriginal to do an under Undertale let's play because it's already been done. Whatever. Anyways, you're gonna go ahead and have this date with, uh, with, uh, Skelet- I mean, Papyrus. Just to get that out of the way, because it is a requirement for the ending that I have in mind. I don't know why I have- it, it's- I'm going for the true ending. The pacifist ending, so, obviously. I don't know why I'm being vague about that. So, you came back to have a date with me! You must be really serious about this. I have to take you someplace really special. A place I like to spend a lot of time.
<laughs> my house. Of course. Welcome to scenic my house. Enjoy and take your time. It's a joke book. Take a look inside. Yes. Inside the joke book was a quantum physics book. Oh. You look inside. Inside the quantum physics book was another joke book. You look inside. There's another quantum physics book. You decide to stop. <laughs> I, I think it's a joke about quantum physics being a joke. Either that or the joke about quantum physics itself. I, I don't know what the hell it is. You touch the couch. It makes a jangling sound. You find a bunch of loose coins inside the couch. You got 20G. All right. Oh, it's my favorite game show. It says, stay tuned for a new program, MTT. What is usually better than this? This is just a bad episode. Don't judge me. This is my brother's pet rock. He always forgets to feed it. And as usual, I have to take responsibility. The rock is covered in sprinkles. <laughs> Papyrus, rocks don't eat fish food. Sorry. That's the trash can. Feel free to visit it at any time. <laughs> Thanks. My brother always goes out to eat, but recently he tried baking something. It was like a quiche but filled with a sugary, non-egg substance. How absurd. I honestly don't get that one. Aha! Interested in my food museum? Please peruse my culinary art show. Half of the fridge is filled with containers all labeled spaghetti. What else? The other half contains nothing but empty bags of chips. It's probably sand. Impressed! I increased the height of my sink. Now I can fit more bones under it. Take a look, see. What? Catch that meddling canine. Curses. <laughs> Sands, stop plaguing my life with incidental music. It's <laughs> probably my favorite part of this whole thing. Okay. That's my room. If you finish looking around, we could go in and do whatever people do when they date. Go inside. It's fine. Again, he's a skeleton. He has no genitals. Let's take a look. Hey, those are all the attacks that I used on you. Great memories, huh? Seems like it was only yesterday. Even though it basically just happened. <laughs> Good old continuity. The internet. I'm quite popular. There. I'm just a dozen away from a double, di double digit follower count. What are you at? Negative two followers. <laughs> of course, fame has a steep price. A jealous troll has besieged my online persona. Always sending me bad puns in a goofy font. Wouldn't it happen to be San Comic Sans, would it? There are no skeletons in my closet, except me sometimes. Look in the closet. Clothes are hung up neatly inside. Aw, nothing cool. That book's one of my favorites. Advanced puzzle construction for critical minds. The next book's another one of my favorites. Peekaboo <laughs> with a fluffy bunny. <laughs> Saying that in the wa in the in the voice. Make it so much better. Peekaboo with Fluffy Bunny. The ending always gets me. I'm sure it does. Isn't that flag neato? Undyne found it at the bay. I think it's from the human world? Now, I know what you're thinking. Why would a human flag have a cool skeleton on it? Well, I have a theory. I think humans must have descended from skeletons. <laughs> ah, yes, action figures. A great reference for theoretical battle scenarios. How do I have so many? Well, 
Let's just say they're from a chubby, smiling man who loves to surprise people. Yeah, that's right. Santa. Really? You guys have Santa down here? I was, I was expecting something different, to be quite honest. That's my bed. If I ever get to the surface, I'd like to drive down a long highway. Wind in my hair. Sun on my skin. Of course, that's just a dream. So instead, I could cruise while I snooze. Okay. Alright, that's that does it for everything in his house. Stop looking at me. Stop looking at me. I can't even really go in a circle. It has to be like a square. So, um, if you've seen everything, if you want to start the date, begin the date. Yes. Okay, dating, start! Reminds me of Hunipop. Here we are! On our date! I've actually never done this before. But don't worry, you can't spell prepared without several letters from my name. That's true. I snagged an official dating rule book from the library. We're ready to have a great time. Let's see. Step 1. Press the C key on your keyboard for the dating HUD. No. My keyboard's broken. <laughs> okay, forget it. <laughs> I think we're ready for step two. Step two, ask them on a date. Ahem. <clears throat> Human, I, the great Papyrus, will go on a date with you. No. Fortunately, it only says to ask. <laughs> it's not how it works. <laughs> I guess it means it's time for part three. Step three, put on nice clothes to show you care. Wait a second. Wear clothing. That bandana around your head. You're wearing clothing right now. Not only that, earlier today, you were also wearing clothing. No, could it be? You've wanted to date me from the very beginning. No. <laughs> Despite that, you chose to wear clothing today of all days. Was your interest in me predestined? No, your dating power. <laughs> nah, nah. <laughs> I don't think you've bested me, yet. I, the great Papyrus, have never been beaten at dating, and I never will. I can easily keep up with you. You see, I too can wear clothing. In fact, I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes, just in case somebody happens to ask me on a date. Behold! <laughs> nah! What do you think of my secret style? I hate it. No! Your honesty shows how much you really care. <laughs> like, I, uh, one of the reasons I love Papyrus is just because you can, like, through all of these scenarios, you can just be a total dick to him. And he, th and he just thinks like, it's like the opposite. <laughs> because he's fucking naive and I love it. However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you just said is invalid. This state won't escalate any further unless you find my secret. But that won't happen. Human souls are stronger than monster souls. But when the souls but the souls of our shoes on the other hand are about the same. There's no secret to my legs. Just hard work and perseverance. You're all bone, though. It doesn't work. Holding my hand so I'll tell you the answer. No. I must resist. I, I can s slowly feel the voice just slipping away here. 
<clears throat> I see, I see. You like caressing my biceps with a floating hot. But who doesn't? I don't know, who doesn't? This shirt didn't originally say cool, but I improved it. Extra tip! All clothing articles can be improved this way. Didn't know that. My hat. My hat. My hat! Nah! <laughs> well then, you found my secret. I suppose I have no choice. It's a present. A present just for you. Nah, I'm not gonna open it. You can't even bring yourself to harm my delicate wrapping. N no, that technique is too strong. Counterattack. I'll open it myself. Do you know what this is? No. <laughs> That's right. You have no idea. Though this appears to be spaghetti. This ain't any old plain old pasta. This is an artisan's work. Silk and spaghetti, finely aged, in an open cask, then cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus. Human, it's time to end this. There's no way this can go any further. No. You mean, you're letting me have it instead, because you know how much I love pasta. Impossible, taking my present and turning it around on me. Ah! Ah! No! He's such a goof. I love it. Human, it's clear now. You're madly in love with me. Everything you do, everything you say, it's all been for my sake. Human, I want you to be happy too. It's time for me to express my feelings. It's time that I told you. I, Papyrus. I... Um, boy, is it all hot in here, or is it just me? Oh, shoot. Human, I... I'm sorry. I don't like you the way you like me. Romantically, I mean. I mean, I tried very hard to. I thought that because you flirted with me, that I was supposed to go on a date with you. Then on the day, the feelings would blossom forth. I would be able to match your passion for me. But alas, I, the great Papyrus, have failed. I feel just the same as before. And instead, by dating you, I've only drawn you deeper into your intense love for me. A dark prisoner passion with no escape. How could I have done this to my dear friend? No! Wait! That's wrong! I can't fail at anything. Human! I'll help you through these trying times. I'll keep being your cool friend and act like all this never happened. After all, you are very great. It would be tragic to lose your friendship. So please, don't cry, because I won't kiss you. Because I don't even have lips. <laughs> and hey, someday, you'll find someone as great as me. Well, no, that's not true, but I'll help you settle for second best. <laughs> oh god, Papyrus. I'm completely losing the voice. Thank god this is over. Oh, and if you have a need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me anytime, platonically. <laughs> well, gotta go. <laughs> okay. So yeah, that was dating Papyrus. It's as hilarious as you think it would be. Let's check Sans' room. The door is locked. Okay. I mean, I knew that would happen, but just for anybody who didn't know what would happen. So again, that was necessary in order to make Sans a good friend. Um, that was necessary for a certain ending. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna uh, call in an episode here. I uh, don't, you know, if I try to do too much more, it's gonna go on too long. Because with the date, the extra part of the date, so... I'll go ahead here. Wow, 107 minutes already. Hmm. So anyways, um, that's it for this episode. Um, 
you know, again, I keep saying it, you know, I'm going to do a full playthrough of Undertale at least, um, all the way up to the, the ending that I want, uh, the true ending. Um, so there will be that. I'll be back for another episode soon. Um, and in, But until then, thank you so much if you happen to stumble across this, uh, this video and you decide to watch it. Thank you for watching. And um, I will see you on the next episode. Bye now. Here's the door. Get out of my house now. <laughs>